steady pace now moving forward. Stall number six. And now the set. They're off and racing. The Cantor Fitzgerald Debt Capital Markets National Stakes and Arene has rather dived out to its left-hand side there from stall number nine, losing ground. A speed up has come from King of Rooks over Silver Wings. Down to the inside, Case Key. Then steady pace, the Royal Blue Jacket tucked in his strands of silk. A couple of lengths away, and there's a handy talk in Buratino for the next by Arene. And Tordith is a shade out pace at the back of the field as they race up towards halfway. King of Rooks with the rail to help alongside this Silver Wings. A length and a half down in third strands of silk. Steady pace has now been pushed along to get a bit closer and is doing so. Case key toward the inside. Buratino now looking to pick up as they head down towards the final furlong and a half. King of Rooks with the lead. Has about a half a length call over steady pace. Then in between rivals is Silver Wings ahead of Buratino who's running on late but it's King of Rooks under Richard Hughes who've gone clear by a good few lengths now to steady pace and then Buratino and King of Rooks an impressive winner of the national stakes. King of Rooks goes on to take it from Buratino. Steady pace in third, then Handy Talk Arena and Silver Wings. That was a smart performance from a talented two-year-old. King of Rooks has won the national stakes today at Sandown at 11-4 for Richard Hannon and Richard Hughes. A pretty smart performance in terms of his professionalism as much as anything else, David. I think, I think that was the thing, wasn't it? Uh, you've got a lot of inexperienced horses in this race. You've got Areen who goes sideways from the stalls. You've got the Philly strands of Silk who misses the break. Case Key was very green through uh, a lot of the race and really struggled under the conditions but King of Rooks with the two races under his belt he's got the rail whereas Steady Pace who beat him at Ascot he's stuck rather wide four horses wide and Richard Hughes has just controlled the race on the rails